I don't know if I have enough money, sign guy. Stuff's expensive, and I have to keep some money to fight the battle arena. Uh, I want. Yeah, here we go. So we already saw this weapon, but we didn't have the mirror yet. Sure, it's not. Over here. I thought it was over here. I didn't get it already, did I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. I went like right over it. So Lulu gets the shaft because she doesn't get a cutscene. Everyone else gets a cutscene. She doesn't get a cutscene. You just pick it up and that's it. Kind of lame. But we're going to show it off because it's cool. Uh, we'll do that though. Where is the missing spheres? Seromorph got, Besaid got, Leaky got, Luca got, uh, Nihen High Road, Old Road. I think we got. They show up in the. It's here, right? Do, but they just show up as Jack Sphere. So that doesn't help us. Uh, but there's two that have specific names. We don't have either of them, so we can go get those. Warren Sphere and Nebraska Sphere show up as separate items, so. Uh, Orange Sphere is in Mushroom Rock Road. And Braska Sphere is in... Oh, wait. We got Braska Sphere, didn't we? Because that's in Mount Gagazette. I swear we got that one. It doesn't show up here, but... I was pretty sure we got that. Um, there's one in Moonflow, too, which I'm pretty sure we didn't get. Kalania Woods, I think we got. So let's go to Mushroom Rock. Mount Gag is that, I guess. And Moonflow. There's ten. There's no way to know how many we have, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got that one. 
Uh, and I'm pretty sure we got the one here, too. Because I think it was right by where, uh... Melinda was? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's in the... Yeah. By the way, I don't think we ever did this. I don't think I ever wrote a chocobo here. Yeah, I think the Final Fantasy X chocobo theme is kind of underrated. It's pretty good. You just don't hear it that much. So where is this one at? Is it like where Sin attacked? Is it like up top where the Albed were? Take this off. And put this on. So Lulu's ultimate weapon is called Onion Knight. How cool is that? Shout out to OG Final Fantasy. Look at how cute it is. It's adorable. open. It's probably on like the next screen. Maybe in that little alcove, like, separate area. Yeah. Or I was thinking maybe over here, like, near that separate lip. There was like a book down here, wasn't it? Just a chest. Yeah, the lightning is not too bad if you do the trick. It took me like three attempts. Like I said, the timing is very lenient. It's just hard when you don't know when it's going to strike. But when you know when it's going to strike, it's very lenient. This is Orin Sphere. 
Thanks for everything, Keenark. I know I don't need to tell you this, but guard Lord Brasco well. That I will. And you'll be busy too. I heard they made you second in command. You know that promotion was meant for you. You were always the better one, even until the end. You make it sound as if I was going off to die or something. I will see you again. Yes. Well then. Going already? <laughs> you will tell me about Zanakant when you return, won't you? <laughs> Farewell. Young Keenock looks really weird. <laughs> any reason to go up here but I'm kinda curious now. Oh never mind he's like it's working. Um Okay where else? Moonflow? Moonflow. Generic Keenock monk. Is that why you can like barely see him? Here we go It's just one of the flamethrower guys. It. Nice. That was easy. I think that means we have all of them, right? Because I don't think you get Tornado till you get them all. Yeah, the, the Jekt story arc is so cool. But it's interesting because you really don't know a lot of it. Unless you go out of your way. Um, so, like, if you just beat the game right away, it's like... You're such a jerk dad, and then you see all these spheres, and you're like, oh, you got such a cool, like, that's where we are. Okay, I think that's it. We're it's just us and super bosses. Here we go! I'm done with everything I wanted to show. Except my uh, crazy blitzball save, but I'll save that for last. Time to go beat Sin. Wait a second. I think the bosses that he's about to give us, we're not going to really be able to fight yet. Uh, 
might as well give everyone some good stuff. Now we're done capturing forever. You don't really need HP up anymore, so how about Death Roof? Probably gonna make some armor here soon, but for now we'll just see what enemies they have. I don't want to really make armor until I know exactly what I want, so. This one we might be able to beat. This is just a monster. I get the world champion like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> you, like just grabbed it. armor break, but it did not stick. Who's your party the first time you played? Oh god, who knows. Uh, oh wow, that did MP damage too. Nice. Probably this. Riku might have been in there. Took all my MP! Sister time. Look at the six sisters! HP! They're starting to get big chonky. By the way, uh, oh my god, he has like super magic defense. If it wasn't obvious, uh, combined powers always works, I believe. I don't think it ever like fails. Okay, everyone, take a break, cool. I guess you just don't want to win. Yeah, that's your fault, Mindy. I told you to heal yourself twice. Nah, his defense is insane. I should have armor broken before I summon, but I don't really have a choice. I 
to start this fight with Orin's Overdrive ready. That's gonna do no damage. He doesn't have Ronald. This damage is actually going to stick, but we're not doing that much damage. Especially if she's casting Fire Raga. I mean, Cindy's giving it her best shot. She's really trying to keep us in her. Mindy's trying to fail on purpose, I guess. Why are you casting Fire Aga? What's going on? You guys even want to win? Just don't care. I don't think I ever noticed that if Yuna is in yellow health, she actually like kneels down like in yellow health during the summon fight. I never noticed that. I don't know if I've ever seen Cindy revive that much before. To the point where she actually ran out of MP. That's better. Now she's done. <laughs> yeah, I did my job. Mindy's the one that failed. Man, Cindy is super tanky now. The defense is like off the charts. I'm not finished yet. I came back just to take some breaks. Hopefully we get some turns. Cool. Nice 
That is what we really need, is Banishing Blade, but let's wait until I can heal one. Who doesn't die? I would show off Tornado, but I really need Armor Break. <laughs> it would have been nice to keep him low health, so this would do more damage, but... Uh, I need him to be full health because of this counter. A absolutely massive blitzes. Time for all the damage. out yet, but Vlad Bull would be doing big damage. How did that kill? Oh. Uh... Yeah, I need to use frag grenades more, instead of waiting for... You still have protect. Oh, that's not unfortunate. That's really the only attack I have issue with. See, like, Orin's ultimate weapon with Sentinel is actually really cool because it also has counterattack, so if you Sentinel, he'll get hit and then immediately counter, and the counter will do more damage because he just got hit. So I do kind of see what the idea was there. It's just that once you get into, like, the really crazy fights, everything kind of one-shots you anyways, unless you're just really over leveled. Right now, it's actually working pretty well. Oh, welcome back, Salad. It's going fantastic. Alright, so here's the plan. Sentinel, quick hit. And Orange should block the quick hit for us. And then counter. Or not counter, but it'll block everything for us. This is a fun fight. Pretty good. Balance. This is the only part that's annoying is that attack. Yeah, 
this guy's got some health. Yeah, I might do a tornado just to show it. Nice. Uh, if I do it now, I'll die. Heal first. All right, so here's Orin's ultimate overdrive. Everyone has to run away because it's so powerful. Whoa! Well, it's pretty cool. It also ejects if they can be ejected, just like Shooting Star does. Um, but yeah, I always like Vanishing Blade more, and it's more useful. Also, ow! Now, Tornado ejects also, but this is a boss, so it didn't eject. Let's uh... so get some extra turns. He's gotta be close ish to death. Yeah, I need Auto Phoenix for sure. Auto Phoenix and Auto Haste. And then from there, it's going to kind of depend on what we're fighting. But even just like Auto Phoenix on Orin and Auto Haste on everyone, would be very nice because when they get revived, I have to haste them. And they're really slow when they get revived. Okay, uh... Yo, thank you so much, Captain. Thanks for being here. Like, with Auto Phoenix, I don't even have to worry too much about defending my other characters. But this is kind of cool that I'm actually able to use Sentinel in a way that actually works well. I've been able to keep Orin alive this whole fight. Seraphic, thank you for the gifted sub to Captain. Welcome to the crew man. Life on Orin for safety. And when 
something else. Thunder Flames. Chocobo Wing 99, that's what we've wanted for a while. Oh boy. No idea what this fight is like. Or if I can even hit him. I don't even think using aim will help much. Alright, it's gonna have to use either magic or overdrives. That's a lot of needles. So yeah, uh, cheer ain't gonna help us too much here. didn't attack. Let's see. She just turned to the left and it did no damage. Either need to magic break him or just use overdrives. But Orin and Titus are set to warrior, so that's not really going to work out. But you know who will actually hit. I could have just come in with any overdrive and it would have ended up the same way. I've created a monster. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's the slug. I can tell you right now, we're not fighting this thing yet. <laughs> this guy is a true... Time to go, Escargo! Time to go, Escargo? Wait, she has a special... voice line for this enemy? Who only exists in this one place? This game is so good. It's the best game ever made. Yeah, so this guy's cool because he's unique to the battle arena. This is the only place he appears. This is actually a monster creation. And that's why we're not fighting him yet. Yeah, he's definitely one of the cooler ones. Even the final fight uses the same model as an enemy in the game. But Naslug is totally original, which is cool. And another one. 
Dark Matter times 99. You know how crazy that is? Ultima Buster. This guy is, uh, kind of like the second to last boss, I guess. Seems to be like the the final one before the final one. Ready for that yet? I just got some new items in. What does he get? I don't remember. Oh, clear spheres. I forgot about these. I forgot that he sold them. Alright, so we now have every monster unlocked except one. Every monster unlocked except the final. So now it's just time to fight. Time to fight them all. Um, I think we'll do some leveling up. Customize a few things. Yeah, this is a brand new controller and the circle button is already sticking. It's driving me crazy. I keep pressing it and then like a second later I hear a of it like popping out of the socket. Alright, so... The shield has death proof. I don't think I want that on my final shield. I think I'll just take one of these. Auto haste costs so much. Uh, do I want auto haste on Titus or do I want auto haste on Yuna? I kind of want it on Yuna. I can only put it on one right now. Give it to Kamari. What a great idea. Does she have a four slot yet? No. I'll have to go buy one. But they're so expensive. I did not want to put it on a poison proof armor. Orin has a uh, Tetra, right? Yeah. So you need Auto Phoenix. For sure. Uh, I don't know if I want Auto Potion. I'm probably not going to spend the time to grind enough to where he'd actually survive, like, the original creation's attacks. It's probably going to be a lot of auto phoenix and auto life. <laughs> so I don't think auto potion's going to be really necessary. 
or Otto Ronald. Let's just leave it with Otto Phoenix for now. And we need to go buy a Tetra armor. Tetra ring for Yuna. Even though, I don't know if I'm going to use all four slots, but I don't want to start doing, uh... Yeah, here we go. I don't want to start customizing an armor and then decide that I want four slots and then have to redo it all. Yeah, like, breaking HP limit is probably not going to be necessary because, like I said, I don't think I'm going to do enough grinding to where I'll be so strong that I can actually survive their attacks. Maybe? But... We'll have to see. I think what's gonna happen... If we're gonna finish today... Then I'm gonna have to, like... Auto life, auto phoenix, everything... And just try to... Kill. But like I said, I wanna keep a slot just in case, because I don't wanna have to put on... Auto Phoenix twice or Auto Haste twice, that would be awful. Yeah, I feel like Auto Haste is too expensive, because, like, you get Haste Dega really early. It's not like they bar Haste from you. But to have it automatic is I walk. expensive. Oops. I mean, it is really good, but it just feels like they allowed you to get stuff like haste pretty early, but to have it auto is like the most expensive dang ability. How's it going, Kalos? Uh, kinda. More of just prepping for the Monster Arena in general. We're counting up. Yo, how's it going, Zoo? Here we go! That's true, it's also slow proof. The the big thing with auto haste is that you get it when you get revived. And against the final fights, you are getting revived a ton. Because everything smashes you. So the fact that when you get revived, you have that extra turn to like get back get set up again, that's like the big thing with auto haste. Like, if you're surviving the fight, then really all Auto Haste is doing is saving you one turn because you would just cast a Stega. But the, the real benefit is when you die and come back and you already have haste. So you don't have to recast it. Because you die a lot. Auto haste. Wait, let me think about this because she doesn't have Hastega. So if I don't have auto haste on everyone, I kind of want the person that has auto haste to have Hastega. I guess I could just give it to her. Is there anything else? I could give you auto Phoenix too. Why not? Oh, Phoenix isn't that expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, I have white magic spheres, right? Right? I don't! There's a stay up here. Oh, 
Alright, it's fine. I don't need it. I do have Ultima now, though. I can actually do some magic damage. If I need to. I don't know, magic's been pretty underwhelming. She's gone all the way through her hers and Lulu's, and she still really doesn't do that much magic. I need to go through Waka's next. Is this Waka's? Yeah, the only one that's, like, actually captured most of the Sphere Grid is Titus. But we're not looking to finish the Sphere Grid. We're not doing what we can't do with Dark Aeons or anything. Omega Ruins. Let's play some Omega Ruins. Yeah, once we get into it, we might want to get more auto haste. For now, one should be fine. Specifically on Yuna, so she can keep auto life up. Regular Cactuars? Yeah. Orin can hit Cactuars now. The Super Cactuar, I wasn't able to hit yet. I don't know if you can ever hit that dude. This whole gimmick is like, you can't hit him. Uh, we can go next, Titus. Because you're already done with all this. Yuna's... I kind of want full life. I kind of want Yuna to get full life. <coughs> but it's actually kind of nice to revive Titus with full health. Instead of having to heal. Um, I would not mind giving you auto life. I guess we take you down Yuna. Honestly, you having like some healing would be nice too. So I guess we go down Yuna's. We only have one return sphere left. Go right here. I could probably just move there with the amount of sphere levels I have, but. Yo, Race! Thank you so much for the 36 month primer. Three years, man. Thank you so much for being here for a whole three years. It means the world to me. How many hours would it take to max this out? When I did the remaster and you have to max the sphere grid with every character, it took me like 40 hours of just menuing. Like, just the menuing itself took that long. It was kind of awful. It's not that bad for just a main party, though. Like, just to get the three characters you want to use maxed, it's not that bad. Especially if you do the Tom Berry strat. Yeah. 
Yeah, one of the trophies for the remasters, you have to max everyone, which is so stupid, because you never need to do that. Like, you know, you only have to do three. Or maybe four, if you want to do some swapping shenanigans, but... I was able to beat Penance with only the three characters out. So I had no reason to max any more than just my three main characters, but the trophy makes you do them all. So it's it's a pretty annoying trophy. But that's pretty on par for Square Enix. Um, almost all of their trophy lists are bad. They've been doing better lately though. Stranger of Paradise was pretty good. But Final Fantasy VII, pretty bad. Not the worst, but pretty boring trophy list. Final Fantasy VIII, awful. Final Fantasy IX, god awful. Probably the worst I've ever seen. Uh, or close to the worst I've ever seen. Final Fantasy X, pretty bad. Uh... Final Fantasy XV was pretty bad. Kingdom Hearts 3 was pretty good. That trophy list was not bad. How's it going, Al? In fact, all the Kingdom Hearts games have pretty good trophy lists. With the exception of the original Kingdom Hearts 1 PS3 list. That one was a giant yike. Why would I want to use a level 4 there? I, mean, I have plenty of level 4s. Actually, I only have 2. I can get more, though. It is, 100%. That 10,000 kills trophy, I haven't even done it myself. I'm going to, soon. But, uh... God. I, I mean, I, the, the... Whatever it was, it was like 1,000? Or 2,000? In Final Fantasy VIII? That one was awful. That's not even close. And, you know, maxing the Sphere Grid is a bunch of menuing. But at least you're, like thinking and pressing buttons, like 10,000 battles is literally just brainless grinding for 30 hours. So awful. Then of course there's the jump rope trophy, which we don't talk about. Alright, so Titus just got quite a nice boost. And he also got auto life. So this should be very helpful. And the two auto phoenixes are going to be huge. So I think with what we have right now, we can beat most of the like enemy creation, area creation. But we will see how it goes.